One of the few modes that we haven't covered yet in the Ornament and Crime is the Pitch Quantizing mode, Quanter Main. Combined with any CV and trigger source, the Quanter Main can generate instant musical results. But the mode does much more than simply quantizing pitch. Quantizers take incoming voltages and shift them up or down to the closest multiple of one twelfth of a volt. When routed to a one volt per octave input, this produces the 12 semitones in the chromatic scale. By removing certain notes, leaving whole tones in their place within that one volt range, we can limit the scale to a smaller number of notes to form a traditional musical scale or mode. Quanter main is essentially a four channel sample and hold. Each channel operates in exactly the same way, with independent control over scale, clock division, CV and trigger source, transposition, and more. When the scale mode is switched to off, that channel will act as a traditional sample and hold, with no additional tuning. When a scale is selected, the held voltage is rounded up or down to the closest frequency that will fit into that scale. There are 48 different traditional and world scales to work with, plus four user-created scale settings. I'll start with an LFO from Math's Channel 1 variable output clocking the input with a channel on Tempe. As the range of the LFO increases, we hear the pitch rise higher. When the scale is switched from off to semitone, we can hear a clear staircasing effect as the chromatic scale is revealed. Each scale has a selection of active notes, which can also be edited. Selecting the active notes mode with the right encoder the left encoder can be used to scroll through and turn on and off the different notes in the scale. The buttons next to the screen can be used to invert the active notes, creating an alternative pattern with the opposite set of quantized notes. The right encoder can be turned to shift the active note pattern. note acts as a 1 12th volt offset, shifting the internal frequencies corresponding to each scale step. If you're using a sequencer, you can likely ignore the root note setting, and the root will always be equal to 0 volts. With keyboard controllers, you must set the root along with the scale for the correct keys to respond. Now let's use the DU Seek an unquantized 8-step sequencer with a range of roughly 2 volts per step. First, we'll listen with the scale turned off. Then we'll switch back to Ionian again. It's instantly more harmonious. We can try some other scales, or create our own by setting the scale to semitone and disabling a few of the active notes. Trigger delay is another handy addition to each channel. Because of the nature of analog sequencers, hopping from step to step takes a certain amount of time, and may involve a bit of fluctuating voltage before settling at a direct current. By zooming in on an oscilloscope, we can see how much each step can jitter as they move. This can result in voltages being above or below the 1 12th volt thresholds for each note. Trigger delay compensates for this by allowing a certain amount of microseconds to pass before the voltage is sampled and held. However, this odd functionality can lead to some very musical variation in the sequences being quantized. We'll have more on the ornament and crime in the coming weeks, including how to turn it into a quad Turing machine. How are you using the ornament and crime? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.